Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Today I'm going to be talking to Dr. Taz Badia. She's a practicing integrative medicine physician, a wellness expert, and a best-selling author. She's here with some answers. Dr. Badia, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're going to talk a little bit. Uh, let me start with my first question. What are some of the ways you, we can support our heart health? Since this you is know, heart, health, heart health is important and it is the number one related cause, health related cause of death. So it's so important to build a heart healthy toolbox. We want to look at things like inflammation, your circulation, exercise, your stress levels are so important. Your smoking risk. We know smoking doesn't do anything helpful for the heart. And of course, looking at diet, getting those essential nutrients in for a healthy heart is really the foundation and a great place to begin. How important, if you had to rank those factors you talked about, how important is overall diet for heart health? I put the top. I put it in the top three. We know that diet is incredibly important, and it's also a factor that we can control, and we can, can make daily uh, tiny little changes to impact our overall health. So we know a heart-healthy diet is high in omega-3s, it's low in saturated fats, it's high in plant-based fiber, it's low in salt. All of these things kind of add up to protect our heart. The challenge here, though, is that it's really hard to get those omega-3s in our daily diet. The source is fatty fishes like salmon or tuna, and most of us are simply just not getting enough. How many sources of, of fish do you think, or how many servings, actually, of fish do you think you're getting in on any given week? Probably five. That's good. Five, five is good. And the three of us can barely to So 70% <laughs> of Americans are walking around very low in omega-3s. We know that omega-3s impact heart health. We know we want a good source of omega-3s with EPA and DHA, like, like fish, like fatty fish that you're probably taking in, but it's just hard to do. So uh, if we're not eating it, then we want an ocean source supplement of omega-3s like Cori krill oil, which is sourced in pure Antarctic waters without artificial ingredients. Why are omega-3s so important? Well, omega-3s are one of the most scientifically researched nutrients when it comes to heart health. In fact, according to the FDA, there is supportive but not conclusive research showing that EPA and DHA, the omega-3 fatty acids, may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. We also know that omega-3 fats play a role in brain health, eye health, joint health, skin health, even your immune health, and so much more. So it's a really important nutrient to be paying attention to and to be making sure we're getting in either through our diet or through an ocean source supplement like a krill oil. Is krill oil the same as fish oil? And why is krill oil so important? Krill oil and fish oil are not exactly the same. They both are sources of omega-3 fats for sure. Krill oil seems to be more compatible. So quarry krill oil has superior absorption when compared to fish oil uh, in terms of the omega-3 fats. And it's actually a lot more compatible. You don't get those uh, fishy burps or that aftertaste that so many of my patients will often complain about. We know that quarry krill oil is actually smaller. They have the smaller pills and the mini pills, so it's much easier to swallow. It also has choline, which is an essential nutrient, and antioxidants as well. So it's a great addition when we're thinking about how are we going to be proactive about our heart health. Fish oil, krill oil, they're all under the supplement category. What should we be looking for when we choose a supplement? People, we're choosing by how the bottle looks and what the doctor said, kind of. You know, if he said vitamin D, we're looking for vitamin D. We really aren't proficient in choosing supplements. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something I hear all the time. And I think choosing a supplement, you do want your doctor's recommendation and supervision. I think that's always important. They have experience with it to a point. I think you want to look at quality and sourcing. I think those two things are incredibly important. Like, where is this particular supplement coming from? How is it made? I think that's critical. And you want to read the label. I think looking at that label and understanding the quantities and the amounts, making sure all the ingredients are listed are ways you know that it is a good quality supplement. Dr. Tess, this has been so good. There's many more questions. I see them out there in social media. Where can my audience go and find some answers? Go to CoreyKrillOil.com or you can come to my site as well, DrTaz.com. Dr. Taz, thank you for stopping by the Valder BB show and enlightening us on heart health. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.
Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.